everyone, this is Deb Lehigh coming to you from my studio, The Stampin' Hut. And I'm a couple minutes early like usual. My dog's been out, so cross your fingers, I won't have to stop what I'm doing to let him out. Um, I have uh, birthday cards. We are making five of them tonight. Very, they're very simple. So... When you pop on, say hi. Let me know where you're calling from or watching me from. Share, like, and comment for a chance to win. Hi, Tina. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for sharing. Got a couple minutes. About a minute yet, and I'll get started. Hi, Linda. Say hi to Tina. She she's on, but she's on Facebook. Yeah, I watched that uh, from yesterday today. I forgot it was on last night. Are you? Are you watching last night's, Tina? Or are you watching tonight's? Okay, we're going to get started. We only have a little over uh, well, a month and a half. And these catalogs are going to be done at the end of April. So, it's not too late to get your hands on them to see if there's anything in there for you. Um, we will have a color refresh, which means we will get five new ink colors, and they're going to uh, go and refresh our inks that we already have. So, we don't know what's going or what's staying. We have to wait till March 29th for more information on that. Hi, Leanne. Thank you for joining. So we're going to get started. Tonight we're using watercolor, water, say that three times, watercolor shapes and biggest wish. Okay, and we are making birthday cards. And I have all kinds of ink pads laying here that I will be using tonight. Okay. I'll get my camera back in focus here. Okay. So, with that being said, the first card we will be making is this. And it, it's going to be using... Our base card is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I didn't hear you come in. I'm sneaky. <laughs> and um, polished pink cardstock, and that is five and a quarter by four. That will be on here, so we're going to layer that a while. You can use the glue of your choice. I am using my liquid glue. And 
and that is make sure I got it going right and that's gonna get on here like so and then we're gonna take this piece which is three and three fourth by five and we're gonna take our biggest uh, circle And we will need polished pink. Oh, there it is. And I think I use gorgeous grape, but I'm not sure. It could be Highland Heather. I made these at the beginning of the month, and I forget what I used. So we're going to find out. So we're going to take a block and put our circle on, ink this up with polished pink, and then I'm going to get my mat here. Photo Palmer, you want to uh, use your mat. A lot of times I don't have to because my table is real hard. If you have a table that gives, then I suggest the R foam mats. And we're going to stamp this right about there. That is going to be kind of like our focal point. And then we're going to stamp one up here. No two cards when you make something like this is going to be the same, just so you know. And then we're going to clean this off. And let's see what this looks like. Let's get just a piece of paper just to take a look at the color it comes out because I don't want it real dark nope we're going to use that one so we're going to stamp it there because it will dry lighter okay Clean that off. Then we're going to take our black stamp and write marker and we are just going to draw our string. On, on the balloons. Okay, then we're going to take our happy birthday, and we need a block for them. Let me move this out of the way. I'll lay it on here to get it kind of straight, and then I'll lay it on my clear block um, diagonal same way with birthday and then we're going to get a block and put a diagonal because that way you, you look at the word to make sure it's straight instead of the block and then ink up our we're using memento black And we're going to stamp happy. And birthday. Okay. And that's going to go on top of that. Get my glue here. 
That ain't it. Here it is. And we're going to just put this on top. Like so. And there's our first card. Okay. So let's set that aside. We'll move on to the second one. This is the second one. Okay. I am using Tahitia Tide, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Move some of this out so I don't catch it. Then you need two pieces that are five and a quarter by four, one for the outside and one for the inside. So we can put, I did not stamp anything in here, um, but I might stamp a couple of these uh, circles on the inside. They're to look like balloons, I guess, or bubbles. And that's just going to go inside. Okay. So, for this one, we need Starry Sky, Tahitian Tide, Parakeet Party, Pear Papaya, and our Polish Pink. These are our five in colors that are good till 2020. Oh no, four. Uh, papaya, pale papaya will be leaving us at the end of April. So the other four is our uh, in colors that's here till the 2024. Okay, so we're going to start with Starry Sky. And we need this small circle. And we're just going to stamp in the corner and then stamp off, stamp off, stamp off. Okay? That's all we need of that one. Then we need Tahitian Tide. Parakeet Party. Now we need pale papaya. I can't see that. And then polish pink to finish it off. Okay. Going to bring in the happy birthday again. Memento Black. And we're going to stamp. Happy birthday. And 
and that's going to get right on the front of our card. Uh, look. Well, I'll fix that. I'll put some bling on this one. So, let's get some bling here. And... I don't have sticky on it. Get my thing here. There's sticky sticking to the paper here. It's not coming off with the... One. Two. Hides that smudge. Okay, that's card number two. And card number three will be this one. Uses real red. Five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. Okay. We need two pieces of five and a quarter by four. One goes on the inside, so we're going to do that. Okay, then we're going to stamp this, like these three pieces. So we're going to put this up here. I'm using Crush Curry, Roll Red, and Garden Green. And the Garden Green, I need to stamp Birthday. You know what? I didn't use garden green. I used shaded spruce. Sorry about that. Being that shaded spruce is darker than garden green, I didn't have to clean that off. Yeah. Okay. So it's shaded spruce, real red, and crushed curry. So I need this, I need to clean this off, okay, then we're going to stamp our big balloons, so let me get my pad here. I'll turn it this way. So, then we're going to clean this off. And we're going to get real red. Okay, and this color here is Night of Navy. I didn't pull that, so I'll have to get that. Close these up before. 
get my Knight of Navy. him there, one there, and then we need the little one, and we're going to do that in crushed curry. And we're just going to stamp it to cover up some of the spots because this piece will go here so you won't see much of it but you will see some of the yellow okay all right so we can glue this on to the front now and then we We'll stamp the rest. This one's just about out of glue. I have one standing by. Okay. So before I do that, I'm gonna fussy cut this around real quick. You wouldn't have to. You could um, get a die that would fit this saying and cut it out and just lay it across at the bottom. I find myself f fussy cutting a lot here lately and I never used to fussy cut. I always got my sister Linda to do my fussy cutting. Okay, so now we need the word happy in the bold letters. And we need a stamp for that. Right out there. Now you could, if you have the Stamparatus, you could use that. I did not use it. I took my, uh, I just eyeballed the H's. And I went down to the, I need my mat. Do that again. And then one more time. Well, that one's a little off, but that's okay. This is going to get popped up with dimensionals.
and that's going to go on the front of the card. And then this just gets glued down. So we're just going to put a little bit of glue here and there. And that is going to lay on top. Over there. And there you have card number three. Number four. Is this one. Okay. Nothing on the, oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. This one I did stamp the candles on the inside. So, this is Parakeet Party. And it's eight and a half by five and a half. And it's scored at four and a quarter. Okay. You will need a piece of, um, Whisper White, that's five and a quarter by four. And we're going to do our stamping first. And then we can put that on the inside. We are using the skinnier one and the fatter one. And the oval skinny oval one okay so I need a block for this and a block for this okay we are using Tahitian Tide Parakeet Party and I don't know, I think that might be we're going to use Kush Curry. So we're going to start with the fat one. My mat here. And it's going to go right on the edge. Okay. Then we need the skinny one. And we're going to do the green one. And that's going to go about there. I am going to cut a little bit of this off to make it so that it's at the very bottom. Then I need to clean that and get the poly, uh, polished pink. Then I have it. Oh, it's over here. Move that out of the way. So we need polished pink. That's going to get lowered down. Then we need the blue again. And then the green again. They should put two of those in. Then we need the polished pink again. And then the blue. Okay. We're going to close these up so I don't get my hands in it. Get our crushed curry. Get our oval. Our skinny oval and you're just gonna take and tap the tip of it 
I'm only taking the tip right on the ink pad and that's gonna be our flame. So, I'm just going to get my trimmer. I want to trim this off just a little, just an eighth of an inch, so that they're all at the bottom. So when, if you would copy this card, just make sure you bring it down further on the paper. Now we're going to stamp happy birthday again. And black and you're gonna stamp birthday first excuse my head if I was in the way and then we're gonna stamp the happy Cover that up. Oh, okay, and we're going to put this on the front. <laughs> you know what? That was supposed to be the front. Oh, well. We're going to put this on the front. And put the littler one inside. All right, I think I'm out. Try this one. So this piece is actually um, the four and a quarter by five, and then I cut an eighth of an inch off, so it would be five and an eighth by four, okay? So then this one will get inside, and this one is five by three and a quarter. So we're going to get the blue and the green one again. and the yellow. And this is gonna go there. And then the green one. And then the yellow. And a big flame. Then this goes inside. Like so. That's card number four. And the last one. Let me let me throw this away. That's empty. I'm gonna put that there. Card number four is this one. Okay. Melon Mambo, five and a half by eight and a half, scored a four and a quarter. And 
These are three and three fourths by five. One for inside and one for outside. We're gonna put the inside in a while. Okay, unfolder. And we need the big circle. And I used Mel uh, Barbuda Bay, Daffodil Delight, Melon Mambo, and Gorgeous Grape. Okay. And Flirty Flamingo. Sorry about that. That's the lighter color here. So that's what we're going to be using. So let me clean this off. Okay. Going to start with Melon Mambo first. Or, I'm sorry, Bermuda Bay. And we're going to stamp the big, big one. And that is going to go right about there. Okay. Done with that size. Need a small one. And we're going to stamp this blue or Bermuda Bay. Like so. And we're going to do the Bellman Mambo. Just going to stamp here and there. Maybe I didn't need, maybe I, yeah, it was flirty flamingo. Oh, look, got my finger in the paint, or in the ink. Okay, flirty flamingo. Lay down, Remy. You're not going upstairs. All you're doing, you're actually <laughs> stamping over. He wants to go upstairs. Actually, you just stamp over the collars. That's all you're doing. Gonna do the purple, uh, gorgeous grape. And then we're gonna, last but not least, we're gonna add some yellow in there. Lay down, Remy. You're not going up. Okay. So we're just going to add yellow in some of where the white spots are. And like I said, no two cards are going to be the same. Okay, next we're going to do happy birthday again, but we're using the bold one this time. Uh, got a little cook it, because I wasn't looking at my word. Okay. And then this just gets to the front. 
Look at my fingers. You see them? Let me lay this down so I don't get any on the front. And then it goes on the front. Close this up. Close my ink pads up. And that is the five cards for tonight. I hope you got some inspiration from them. I have two other ones I'm going to show you that I did using this set. But these are the ones we did tonight. Okay. And then I also did this one. And this one. Oh, uh, Leanne, I'm using our um, chamois. It's laying right beside me, and I'm and that's what I I'm cleaning my uh, stamps off with. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment. You have a chance to win the five cards I showed you tonight. I will. I got a spinning wheel now that I can punch the names in and Remy punch the uh, names in and then have the wheel spin. So I didn't pull it for my purse yet that I showed on Friday. Uh, I have to check uh, Facebook with the comments and that. So I will be doing that Friday along with these. Okay. But I want to thank everybody that came and watched me make my cards. And if you're not working with a demonstrator and would like to have a copy of our catalog before it's done the end of April, our new one starts in May, just let me know and I will be happy to give you one. This one, Linda, yeah, I like that one too. That was kind of like the first one I did and... Um, that's where I started. Well, let me do the others then. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for coming. And I will see you Friday at 8 o'clock right here on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you.